Guys, welcome back to Shop Days. In this episode, we are gonna be fitting these mint STI seats into the GC8. We're gonna learn how to make our own mounts, do some welding, make the interior a little bit nicer. Stay tuned. Last episode, we fixed up the rear brakes on the Fuji here. Um, they're working all right. They still could use a power bleed. Um, I did a full fluid swap with uh, Motul RBF 600, but I still got to fire a bunch more through the system just because I think there's some air in there and stuff. So I've either got to power bleed them, gravity bleed them, do something. Just There's no not a good amount of pedal feel, so still some messing around to do there. But... Um, Today we're focusing on the interior. We're gonna make it a little nicer. Um, I picked these seats up from my buddy Danny uh, at the Salvage Guys. He does high-end uh, auto wrecking and stuff like that. And he had this set of seats from a, I believe 2009 uh, STI. And I like the way they look in the car. They fit sort of the classic look a little bit more without being too crazy modern. And uh, they're comfortable and the material is really nice. Like this is all in Alcantara. You know, some nice leather bolsters and stuff. And they look brand new. There's no tears or wear or anything like the driver's side bolster, which would actually be that one. There's not even wear where you get in and out. Like, if you look on the Mustang, bucket seats always get, like, wear marks. Yeah, like right there. They just get all torn apart from you getting in and out. It's not even like that. So I think I got a good deal on these uh, seats. The main concentration of this episode is going to be getting those front buckets mounted. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to unmount the rails from the old seats that came with the car, which aren't even the right ones. These are 2.5 RS seats, um, and they're either on GC8 STI rails or they're RS rails and they fit. So um, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab the GR seat out of there, put it next to this one. And then we're going to take rails off, see how they fit, figure out what we need to drill, what we need to cut, what we need to weld. And uh, we'll make them fit. The rail removed from the new seat. And uh, i got to get all this wiring off here. And the, uh, the module and everything for the airbags. I'm just going to get rid of all that. We don't need it. So what I'm thinking is I'll cut the tab off there, unrivet this, um, mock it up and then tack weld it, and uh, I'll just re-weld the tab onto this rail. I mean, I think that should work. Okay, so after some grinding and drilling, got the first tab off. Um, so I decided I'm just gonna use the tabs from the GC rails and I'm gonna weld them onto the GR uh, seat rails. So I got the first one off. This is the main one. Um, let's, uh, let's mock it up. So this is the one that goes right in here, that guy. Um, so it sits, yeah, like that, and then the rail sits here. So what we'll do is I'm gonna bolt this on. Uh, I'm gonna remove the tab from the GR seat rail that's over there and then we're gonna throw it on here kind of mock it up um, where we'd like to sit and we'll weld it up and see how it uh, see how it fits so it's not too bad uh, just you know a little bit of cutting and drilling and there was what two yeah one one rivet spot weld 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 and super easy to get to um, a little well a little tricky with an angle grinder like maybe a Dremel would be better suited for that, but yeah, that's what I got. So anyway, I'm gonna, actually I gotta throw the GoPro on the charger. So while I cut the GR seat rail off, I'll charge this and then uh, we'll come back and ready to weld this on to the new seat rail. It's actually 
twisting. Okay, got the tabs off. All right, now I gotta take this DR rail, pop off the tabs on it, bring it all back in, mock it all up, mark it, tack it, then bolt the seat in. All right, well, I got the uh, all the tabs ready and stuff. So if you look at these tabs, where they sit, you can say that's your mounting point. Um, you can see there's actually like a visible difference there in height. So this is the GC, sits a little bit higher. GR sits lower. Um, so you wanna keep it, using the GC on the back will be okay. It'll keep it, um, the rail will sit at the same height as it would on the GR uh, mount anyways. And this one as well is about the same height. So it's not gonna be too bad. It won't lean back as much. Um, if I use the existing hole, you can tell. Um, if I use the existing hole, I'd have to move it up and then it actually wouldn't sit flush on the floor, um, which is bad because then you're just gonna shear the nut, or the bolt, sorry. Um, after a long period of rattling and stuff, it'll obviously either break or it'll strip, something bad will happen. So anyway, what you gotta do is just put this down as far as it'll go and I'm gonna do as far over because then it lines up down there. And then uh, I'm just gonna drill. Uh, I'm just gonna drill a little recess right here, just so the bolt can clear. And then we'll throw a washer over it when we uh, bolt it down. It'll be good to go. All right. Well, seats out of the car, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop here for the day. Um, as you can see, the sun's getting lower in the sky. Um, got it all mocked up. I'm just not quite happy with the fit, just because it sits a little bit higher than I would like it. So I think I'm gonna figure out a way to drop these rails down on the back. I'm probably making it more complicated than it has to be. I mean, like I said before, it's as easy as drilling these out, um, weld them onto the new sliders. So it's not a big deal to do that. It's just, I'm, I'm just being extra picky. So I'm gonna call it for today. I'm gonna clean up. Tomorrow we don't, don't have very much time. I'm gonna be gone for the day. I'll be back in the evening to mess around a little bit more, maybe do some welding. Um, but really I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon today cleaning the shop because it's an absolute disaster right now and I cannot work in these conditions. Such a diva. Anyway guys, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. By tomorrow, I meant like a few weeks later. <laughs> What's up? So um, I kind of got distracted the last couple weeks. I haven't had a chance to get back and actually weld the seats in. Um, and I've been thinking about it. Uh, I'm gonna swap the uh, mounts for flat stock steel and drop this down another three quarters of an inch. And that'll give me some nice clearance to the wheel. And when I get my quick release, the wheel will be in perfect uh, the perfect distance. The seat will be nice and low and I've actually got to tilt it back because the uh, it Doesn't support the back of your legs, which you really do need and it's kind of sitting off that that way So your uh, gas pedal foot is pointed right at the brake So I'm gonna get some steel from the store today and uh, we're gonna make our own little uh, floor mounts then we'll weld it to the seat and uh, Then we'll move on to the passenger side <laughs> So yeah, I haven't picked this thing back up for literally like weeks I've just been doing other stuff and been sick and whatnot so we're just gonna continue rolling right along this isn't like days off where it's uh, we're on hiatus it's just we'll keep it flowing um, some other things in the works so uh, hopefully we'll get the seats done today and then we can move on to the next steps in the next couple weeks here so let's uh, let's go get some steel we'll come back and do some welding all right so we got the uh, got the steel got an angle iron and a flat stock um, just in case might need to use some angle do some gusseting, etc. but uh, I figured out. Um, and I got a new brush for the drill so I can clean up the uh, metal and the welds. Uh, bolted the vise on properly because it was broken. And uh, now we're gonna do some cutting and welding. So basically the plan is I'm gonna take the flat stock and we are going to make our own little tab here so that the uh, mount sits flush with the floor and that'll drop, you know, that three quarters of an inch. We'll drop the seat down that much more, give some more knee room and make it just, you know, nicer to drive. I like sitting low in cars. I like my nose to be right at the top of the steering wheel. It's just where I'm most comfortable driving, where you can feel the car the most. So I'm trying to do that. And then we'll figure out the rear. May have to use the stock mounts with some trickery just to get it where I want it. But uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll get these all mocked up and uh, tack welded. Make sure we have, uh, you know, side to side, it's pointed the right way. And then we'll figure out the back. So. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do Oh, let's grab my tape measure. I'm gonna measure approximately 
I measure the collective length that I'm going to need. Um, so, so about an inch and a quarter, so we'll call that an inch and a half. And then probably go about two, two inches just to be safe. And then we know everything's going to clear. Well, because these were a bit spaced, spaced a bit farther. Those are spaced a bit farther than the seat rails. So it's kind of offset and I need it to come this way a little bit more. Um, so we're going to try and make it so that it comes a little bit more this way and still sits pretty on that side. So a little bit of configuring to do, but that's okay. Uh, that's the old bracket. So yeah, about two and a half there. We'll probably do about the same for the front. And then what we'll do is tack those up first, figure out um, where we want the uh, tilt to be because there's no, um, there's no lumbar tilt on these seats, or at least on this one, because it's the passenger side. Yeah, that's an actual, because this is from a right hand, <clears throat> these seats are from a left hand drive car, so that's the driver's side regularly. So it's got all the adjustment. So passenger and comfort, and me, the driver, I'm kind of fixed to whatever I uh, can come up with right now. <laughs> no big deal. Anyway, so we'll get the fronts cut, and then we'll bring them in here, uh, mark where we're gonna do a relief cut to bend them, and uh, yeah, then we should be able to just tack on the rails, kind of see where we're at. Let's do it. Okay, so that's, I mean, basically that's all it is. Just a piece of flat stock cut and bent. And then we'll drill it out and uh, fit it. So it looks like we gotta go a little bit sharper on the bend and uh, then we'll be good. So you do that little relief cut there. It weakens it, but um, you can throw a bead back on there after and it'll strengthen it back up. Um, because it's sitting flat, it's not a huge deal. It's not gonna be a lot of flex there because it's supported by the floor, which is nice. If you're doing this and it was freehand, you would definitely have to weld up, like you'd have to triangulate it or something. Um, but for now, that is our bracket. So I'm gonna bend this a bit more, test fit it a couple more times, and then we'll uh, drill it. So it's just that easy. I mean, it's not, but I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Making floor now brackets? Be easy? I don't know. <laughs> Sells a bracket. Yeah, she does. Same idea. It's pretty much gonna work over here. Actually, the bracket almost fits perfectly. Um, my main concern is um, the carpet is catching it. So I guess I can just put the seam in the carpet there. Just drop it right through. It's not the end of the world if I have to cut a little slit in there. This is premium JDM carpet, so maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. Purists will tell me. <laughs> For the purity, as they say on my car mods. Um, what I also could do is cut this little hump off and then just weld a flat stock piece right across. And then I can locate my seat wherever I need to. That might be another uh, good way. But then I lose a little bit more height. I mean, it's only an eighth of an inch, but everything counts when you don't have space, so. <laughs> Um, let me think about it for a minute. Okay, so I got her figured. What I'm gonna do, basically I'm gonna replicate this old mount and uh, I'm gonna trace this mounting section onto a new piece of flat stock, but it's gonna be offset a little bit and uh, it'll just be this. I could realistically just cut this off. Maybe I should, I don't know. I kinda would like them to look uniform once they're painted and stuff, so rather than be it, have mishmash stuff. I'm just going to kind of, you know, put my hands to work and make my own, make a little bit um, more uniform than that. So yeah, just going to use this to copy the angle uh, for the bend and then I'll kind of 
shape it to that way so it fits the uh, tunnel. these up see where the rails sit and hopefully get it tack welded get our friggin seats mounted okay time to zap this on got it all mounted I clamped it together in the vise because I don't have those magnets and stuff to do the fancy you know third hand stuff uh, so the bead will just run up here and run along there that'll be more than enough to hold it um, as long as I can get some good penetration and I don't burn through the material the welder's set up for uh, exhaust pipe right now to stitch weld it. So I think I'll just leave it on that for now and see what kind of burn through I get. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tack it and then we'll fit it up. And then, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna go full send on laying down a bead and then calling it good because then you have to grind it all off if you fuck it up. <laughs> anyway, let's weld it. actually got penetration which is pretty good on eighth inch and I think yeah I can see a little bit of burn on the inside of the channel so stuck pretty good good enough for a tack weld for right now uh, I'm gonna bolt the rail back to the seat and then bolt the fronts on see how it uh, see how it feels It's uh, half mounted. Let's see how uh, see how it feels. Not bad. This is actually pretty good. So right where the GoPro is, that's right where kind of my eye level is. Before it was a bit like up here and forward. So you can see like this is, you know, this isn't bad driving position. You can kind of see down the front and see where your front wheels are going to be a little bit more. But if you just change it that little bit like right there, I don't know. I feel like it's just a little bit more involved. So I like this. I'm, uh, I'm good with it. And it looks, you know, these seats kind of look OEM, which is something I really like. It doesn't, I don't think it takes away too much from it being an STI. You know, if I was to get Sparkos or Recaros or something, they look cool. But I think I'm not really going to race the car and stuff like that. You know, I might autocross it and stuff, but I just really want it to be like, I don't know, kind of OEM plus, you know what I mean? And once we do the interior, like we're gonna dye all this black and flock the dash, um, you know, the center console's busted here, so we're gonna paint all this black. And it's, I think it's gonna match really well. And then we're gonna do obviously the STI red uh, accents. And somehow we're gonna get this redone to be red or just get a new wheel. Cause this one's great, but I would like it to match. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that, so. Basically now the hardest part on this one is figuring out this rear mount. 
uh, because it kind of comes off the tunnel and then you have to make a little bracket to support it. So I'm probably gonna have to make a gusset and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit of a dick around. So I'll turn this on when we're doing that, but I'm gonna make the flat piece for this side of the rail and then uh, we'll fabricate up that one and weld this in for good. I'm stoked, this is like, this fits well. Reclining works. Oh yeah, you can go straight up. Yeah, this is, this is mint. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I got the uh, third tap ready. Just the slightest little bend in it. And then I'm gonna nick off that side so it's not like super squared. Uh, the other one's sitting here drying. I'll throw a quick little splash of paint on there. Nothing special. Just so it's not bare metal, it's not gonna rust. And uh, this one's almost ready to go. I'm just matching. There's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a whoop de doo here. So I'm just getting this plane flat uh, to match up with the rail. And then uh, then we'll bolt it in. And uh, the last one we're gonna worry about is this one. And I'm somehow going to have to make a little hook to come off of here. I might still use this stock mount and work off of that. We'll see how, uh, we'll see how it all lines up, but she's looking good. Look at that. We're, uh, focus. We're getting there. I'd say that's halfway decent. Okay. Now we test fit. Mint. Sweet. All right, holes line up and uh, it's ready to bolt in. So I'm gonna trim it all up, grind it all down, paint it, and then we'll bolt it on the seat. And uh, we're gonna start figuring out that other side with that weird little, yeah, tunnel outrigger thing. Well, folks. After a whole lot of cutting, welding, bolting and redoing and this and that, driver's side is mounted. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the passenger side this weekend, but you know what? I didn't do a bad job. So we made this nice bracket here. It's all, uh, it's got a gusset on it, angle iron to extend the rail, flat mounted there. The seat is in. And unfortunately that is gonna do it for this week. That's gonna do it for this week, guys. Um, I'll probably work on the passenger side next weekend. And then we'll start looking at some other things, uh, pulling door cards, getting them dyed and getting some things redone. We got a lot of work to do on this car this winter. Um, maybe what I'll do, Let's write a list because I do things like pull this console out, fix that. Yeah, this thing is an absolute, <laughs> it's a disaster. So a lot of stuff needs to be done properly. I sure how this car kind of butchered it, so <laughs> that's okay. We're going to fix it. Um, I'm pretty stoked on this seat. Position's pretty good. The uh, center of the seat lines right up the middle with the uh, steering wheel. The thing that I wanted to fix that I couldn't was uh, lining my foot up with the gas instead of the brake, but you're on the brakes quite a quite a lot obviously if you're uh, going into corners and stuff so it's not bad anyway before I start rambling on about nothing I'm gonna bid you adieu thanks for tuning in this has been shop days I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did hope you could learn some things about making some custom seat brackets I'll see you next time right here in the ridiculous garage later